Stop doubting yourself. Work hard and make it happen. So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Team Kapti. So watches are very important in our daily life, right? So in this video I'm going to learn you that how you can make this beautiful wall clock. So let's begin with the product. This is a MDF clock base. Every product is given from the It's a Bitsy. They have sent me this product from one of my workshop. This is clock handles and clock movement. As we are doing decoupage, so they have sent me decoupage glue that is in gloss, white gesso, archival paint that is yellow and black. This is air dry clay. I will put all the link of the description box of the products. You can go and check. The main product is this. This is a beautiful filament decoupage paper. So let's begin with the process. First I am unboxing this MDF, huge MDF box. This is very good in quality. And this is white gesso. I'm going to apply the gesso all over the surface of this MDF board. Make sure you have applied my coupon code during the purchase from the itsabitsi.in that is tamali5 to get extra 5% off. I will apply gesso on the sides also, okay? Because it is visible when we are making this clock. So you can see this is the filament paper, a very very good filament paper this is. The design is very good. As we are doing the 3D, we need same design twice, okay? So what I did, I just make a photocopy of that and cut with the scissors that the part where we are doing the 3D work, okay? It absolutely fine to work with this photocopies. If you if you were not um, going to buy a, another filament paper, so you can always use this photocopy as I'm doing. So I'm doing the basic decoupage, okay? I'm applying the decomagic glue here and then I'm applying the papers and I will be uh, wait for little bit time. This filament paper is also a beginner friendly so if you are a beginner in decoupage so you can use it as well it doesn't make that much of wrinkles or you know it doesn't make tearing of the papers so you can use it basically very easily okay so i'm finish it off with the window as well because i'm doing that trick 3d decoupage on the window side So I'm done with the guitar, butterfly and the window. So now I'm back with my filament paper. Okay. So this is the filament paper. You can see the design and the glossiness of this filament paper is very good. So what I'll do, I just cut uh, the elements from both the papers because the, the base is very huge. Okay. And regarding this paper, the base is very huge. So what I did, I just, uh, you know, tearing up the edges as this is a filament paper. So we applied a little bit amount of water with the help of my brush so that it become a softened version of this paper and it becomes very easy to tearing up with my hands. The basic decoupage paper decoupage technique is similar. Okay, so just follow uh, the technique that I'm doing here. And also we do not use this kind of edges if you are using the edges uh, if you are attaching the paper with the edges of the board you can use it okay that is not a big problem at is but if you are using this paper in the middle of somewhere so you must have to tearing up this layer the sides of this paper 
it it took me around more than 5 to 6 minutes to decide where exactly i decided to put the paper on so finally i have made my mind set up and i'm starting applying the glue and the paper as a simple decoupage technique i'm doing this uh, technique absolutely like my mindset okay if you think that you do not use that much of paper you definitely do that okay but i love this design i love each and every element of this filament paper so that is why i decided to use this all okay so i here here look at this here i am using that edges because i applied here okay Make sure when you are applying a paper on that hole, you have uh, correctly, you know, paced the paper so that the clock movement is easily getting into this MDF. Okay. All right, so I'm fine with my decoupage. Now we will work for this 3D look, okay? For this guitar, this butterfly, and this window. So for this 3D look, I'm using this Shape It Craft Epoxy Compound. It is having two different compound. One is resin, one is hardener. So you have to mix it uh, equally, like one is to one. While you are mixing this epoxy compound, make sure you have enough amount of talcum powder so that it doesn't stick on your hands, on your plum. So when you get this uniform color of this compound, you, you have to know that this is the time you can work with it. Okay, I'm just going to flattering it with, um, with something cylindrical. And with the same glue, I'm going to attach on the paper. So why I am uh, doing this kind of, you know, exact shape of this guitar or the butterfly. This is the reason because we are just going to covering it to give it a 3D look. So when you are not going to um, choose the exact shape of this guitar, you cannot define where you have to apply this clay. Okay. So that is why we are uh, using the exact size and the shape of this guitar. And I'm going to apply a very, very thin layer of clay just to make it a 3D look. So apply some talcum powder or you can use some water to smoothen up the surface. It will took around uh, you know 10 to 15 minutes to dry not properly dry but still it it have some wetness on this clay at that point we are going to make some 3d work okay just follow the process i'm going to um, you know first turn up the process so that you can you can complete this full video because this is going to be a i think this is going to be a lengthy video uh, 
as the work is really really tough and uh, you know time taking process so simple i am going to uh, do the same things it's the same clay work with the window part as well we are focusing on the bricks uh, where we can make some 3d looks that is completely up to you that where you can apply the uh, you know this clay you can apply the clay on some birds on some flowers on the same paper or you can use another different paper as well but this paper is something you know it reminds me uh, of a theme or you can say a effect of your your phone that is called color splash like uh, which is you know the background or the everything is black and white and some of the elements are are going to popping up with some uh, yellow or red or green kind of color so i really like this uh, filter or effect what you can say uh, that is why i choose uh, specially this filament paper to working with so yeah i'm uh, last lastly i'm decided to use some clay on the hands of this guitar as well i will wait for some uh, moment to to dry this clay a little bit all right so now um, i'm going to do the decoupage up layer that should be going with the similar way with the clay part okay so similarly we are using this deco magic glue applying on the clay and then applying the paper the main filament paper which is which is shown on the upper part okay make sure you use your finger first to see where exactly we have applied the clay okay and then apply the paper accordingly Okay, now I'm going to use um, a knife, a palette knife, to simply press the uh, the clay according to our guitar design, where we uh, we can make some three D looks. Okay, the sides, the border, uh, the element of this guitar and the butterfly, and also for the bricks for that window. Do it very carefully because your paper is also wet. Uh, and your clay is not that much dried up so your paper may be teared or uh, you know destroy this whole background so very uh, smoothly and very softly doing this process All right, I'm happy with the guitar and this is the look of the bricks. I I completely, you know, uh, I completely forgot to add this clip here. I don't know where this clip, I, I think it is being deleted. But I'm going to show you very closely that how this 3D look has been appeared in guitar and this butterfly. And this window, my God, it is looking absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You can use the butter the clay on the this bar as well it will look amazing now i'm going to start my coloring so as you know that the paper is um, a kind of gray color so i'm applying the same color but in a different gradient okay 
in the lower part where the guitar and the butterflies are there i'm using uh, the very dark color of shades of gray and on the upper side i'm going to use a uh, lighter shades of gray again this color combination is completely up to you that how you uh, you know like to color your base but uh, what i suggest that uh, whenever you are using uh, something to make it your project 3d use some shadowing effect okay and that is the reasons why i use this darkest uh, shade of gray on the lower part it it reminds me uh, you know it reminds me the uh, the shadow and the lights effect on uh, on full project so it helps me to make my project more 3d so just going with the flow with the colors so So I'm highlighting some part of um, you know the some instrument with the black acrylic paint. using my uh, palette knife to make a texture okay it is nothing but a white color i'm just applying it with my palette knife and later on i will apply some uh, you know popping up some yellowish color on that it will look amazing it will it will gives you a texture kind of things but not with the texture paste you can use it you can use your um, basic color with this technique All right. Now applying this uh, a tribal multi-surface yellow paint on the guitar, and also some parts where we just going to uh, you know going to splash this color. So I really enjoy doing this project. 
it is a workshop project uh, for me this complete workshop is sponsored and conducted by sibitsi kolkata store so if you also wanted to do this offline kind of things offline workshop and teaching coaching classes along with the ingredients so you can uh, contact me on my instagram i will share um, the workshop details for every month if you are from kolkata and also if you are not from kolkata you can follow itsabitsi.in you can follow their page on instagram they have say, they have conducted all over the india they have uh, around 40 plus store in india so you can go and register for any kind of um, any kind of workshop in your city if you have anything so i'm going to highlight uh, lastly the flowers the the leaves and the birds with some acrylic color you can use watercolor as well let make is uh, more 3d i'm using a stencil that is a brick design and simply applying that black acrylic paint with my flat brush okay take very little amount of um, uh, color with your brush and just going around with the stencils okay something like this it will make your project more 3d i i swear it will look amazing after drying and i also stencil some other parts like uh, around the clocks movement and uh, on the below side of guitar just to make it um, more gorgeous and applied some yellow color here and there okay and uh, now it's time to rearrange the clock so i am drawing this is the number of the clock and i'm attaching the movement the clock hands and lastly the battery don't forget to use um, some varnish to make your project more last last longing i'm absolutely enjoying this project so if you are also making this project at your own home don't forget to share your pictures with me on my instagram i will put all the link on the description box and if you like this video go and check my other videos as well and if you like my channel you can subscribe my channel you can learn a lot of things from this channel so here comes some closure pixel let me know in the comment sections below that how you enjoy this tutorial and if you have any doubts any concern about these things let me know in the comment sections below as well this is very very satisfying things to make your own home wall clock for your own home So that is it for today's video. I hope you like this video. See you on the next video. Till then, goodbye.